Hello friends and welcome back to another vlog. Um, I thought I would pick up the camera and vlog over the, probably the next couple of days or so. Um, I haven't done a vlog in ages and the weather's been a bit rubbish this week so I haven't been able to film like a sit down or like a styling video. Um, so I thought why not vlog over the next few days. Tomorrow it is Aiden's mum's birthday and his mum and dad are coming up and we're going to go for a roast so that will be nice. Um, but this evening it is Saturday and we've had a really really chilled day at home um, but we wanted to get out this evening so we've been trying to decide what to do and I think we've landed on going for a ramen and a sushi date. There's a restaurant near us that we've never actually been to for food, but we've been a good few times for drinks and we really like it there. And so we thought we would try it out. Hopefully we can get a table because I don't think they actually do bookings, but it's quite a small restaurant. So we'll see what the wait is. It's only like half five now and I'm not actually hungry. So maybe we will have a wander into town before, um, or if not, just go for a drink or something, but we shall see. Uh, but this is my outfit of the evening, very casual. Um, I actually wore this exact outfit yesterday but I didn't get a picture in it so it basically didn't happen. I thought I would just chuck it on again today. Um, I'm wearing a cashmere knit from Arquette, very cosy, um, with my Abercrombie faux leather trousers, um, Prada ballet flats. And then this coat is from Zara, a good few years ago, um, I think maybe three years ago now. Um, I actually nearly put this up for sale the other day, and then I tried it on and I was like, what on earth are you going to sell that for? It literally fits me so, so well. Gorgeous quality. Um, it's that like Italian wool brand that Zara and like H&M use. Um, and I love the colour as well. So yeah, very glad I have rediscovered this and glad I didn't end up selling it. Um, I've also got my Celine bag with me. Um, and yeah, that is my outfit of the evening. So we shall see where we end up. <laughs> went back last night so we ended up waking up quite early and um, I was trying to get back to sleep for a bit but I just thought may as well get up seize the day and get ready nice and early I think I mentioned yesterday but today we are going out for a roast with Aiden's mum and dad um, so we're going into town and I thought we could go in a couple of hours earlier and have a look around the shops um, it's been quite a while since I went like clothes shopping so I thought we could film a bit of a come shopping with me because it's been ages since I did one of those. Um, I definitely want to go to Cos, probably like Mango and maybe Zara as well but we shall see. Um, so yeah that is the plan but I'm just about to bake a cake for Aidan's mum and making her a lemon drizzle which isn't a very like wintry cosy cake um, but it is her favourite so that is what I am doing. Um, we had a really nice night last night, just a chilled, casual date night. Um, I really, really enjoyed the ramen. We went to a place called Mule, in case any of you are local to Manchester. Um, Aidan considers himself a bit of a ramen connoisseur, and he said he's had better in Manchester, um, but I really liked it. And I don't like pork, and I feel like that's the traditional like meat to have in a ramen. Um, so if you don't like pork, then they do a really good selection there. Like I had fried chicken in mine. They also had like a duck one, which I was considering. Um, but yeah, really enjoyed it. And then we did actually go for a couple of drinks afterwards. Um, we were home pretty early, home by like half nine, ten-ish. Um, but yeah, let's get on with making the cake now. I will probably just pop some little clips in whilst I do it so I can get it done as quickly as possible and we can go shopping. <laughs> Okay, so the cake is 
just about done. That actually took a lot longer than expected. So we've just kind of been waiting around, waiting for it to be ready. Um, but it's nearly done now. And I thought I would just quickly show you my outfit of the day. Um, I'm wearing actually two new items today. Um, this jumper is H&M. I just got this recently. I love it. It's so nice. Um, I would take this off to like show it you properly, but um, I can't be bothered like trying to sort it all out again. And I am actually going to be filming a haul, um, hopefully next week, so you will see it then. But it's like a really nice like cream wool um, turtleneck jumper. Or is this a turtleneck or is it just a high neck? I'm not sure. Um, and then my blazer is also new from mango it's like a brown herringbone again i think this is a wool blend such nice quality i love it it's giving kind of like countryside equestrian vibes which i really like um, and then i've just got on my zara mom jeans which we'll have seen loads of times and this bag is from paris 64 and um, also have some uh, uh, belly flats on from mns as well um, but i'm sweating at the minute so hopefully it's a little bit colder outside who knows it's a sunny day though so that's kind of like my favorite weather when it's like cold but sunny um so yeah just need to wait for the cake to be done and then we are good to go okay so the cake is done she's looking kind of rustic because i use this like reusable um grease proof paper look grease proof paper and it's made it go a funny shape but i think it looks good and um, i also stuck some blueberries in there which the recipe like didn't call for but i just thought it'd be nice and i think that made it take a little bit longer and um, i do think it's definitely cooked now well i hope so anyway but it was in there for around about an hour to 70 minutes i think we did also make a couple of little cupcakes just so we can try a bit um, but yeah all that's left to go on now is the drizzle um so pretty happy with that i'm definitely not a natural baker but i think it turned out quite nicely yeah mm -hmm. well don't do it so high up <laughs> don't make a mess Gorge. So it's much so sugar good. in it though, it's mad. That's what makes it juicy. Just in Cos and spotted this crop jacket, which I really, really like. It's actually kind of similar to, well, similar in colour to my other crop jacket from Cos, the one that went kind of viral and sold out. Um, and it's also kind of similar to the blazer I'm wearing today. Um, but yeah, I'm thinking I'm going to try this on because it's really nice. Probably don't need another one, but I will leave this link because I imagine that this will sell out pretty quick as well. I just spotted this bag that I have. Um, I noticed that it is back in stock online now, but they do also have a few colours. They've got a black one and then this like off-white cream one, which is really nice too. Gorgeous like greyish cashmere scarf. This is how much? £79. I feel like that would make a really nice like Christmas gift. This jumper is actually very similar to the one I have on. Um, it feels like it'll be, well, it should be wool. It is £89, so a good alternative if any of you are after this jumper because I know it has a sold out now. I also have this jumper in the like beigey nude colour, but I really like the chocolate brown as well. I've been wearing this a lot, it's like very like, easy throw on type knit, like I wear it to the gym and stuff. Love this coat as well, um, this is the exact same fabric as the Cos crop jacket I was telling you about before, um, but in like a long coat, we haven't got many sizes left and it does look very very oversized. Um, but yeah, I feel like that could be a gorgeous winter coat option. Love this brown um, cable knit jumper, £125. Really nice set of wide sleeves. I've got lots of things like this already, but I do think that is really, really nice. I actually ordered this coat. I think it's gorgeous. It's like gone a bit viral on TikTok. Um, but I ordered the smaller size and it was absolutely massive. Um, these shoulders are like very exaggerated which I do love but it was just like the coat was wearing me rather than the other way around um, but yeah I think if you are taller then this is like the perfect black winter coat it's quite pricey if I remember 
yeah it's 270 pounds so it is pricey but to me i think this looks like designer um so i will leave this linked i don't know if it's sold out now but I have quite a few in store so maybe check your local store if you are after it really like this color of the like bag that i have and um, it's coming up quite orangey on camera but it's like a really nice a camel color so it's very similar to the camel palem bags if any of you have one of those mm, yeah okay so got the jacket on um, this is the 34 and it's definitely quite big. I feel like, again, it's quite wide on my shoulders. Um, it's a nice like cropped length though and it's gorgeous. It's like thick and padded. Um, but I think I would definitely need the 32 in this. I do find that like cos sizing comes up pretty big anyway. Um, so I do normally go for the 32. Um, but yeah, just something to bear in mind. I think it is stunning though. Like the quality is so nice. And again, I think it looks really, really expensive. Okay, so just to show you, this is what the inside is like. So it is like really, really thick and padded. A good one for winter. And it's 150 pounds, which I think is actually a really decent price for what I imagine is a wool and very thick um, crop jacket. Also, how gorgeous are these flowers we just picked up from the florist in town for Aidan's mum. Um, we have got some other gifts as well, but we've left them at home with the cake. I think these are gorgeous though. And they were £35, which I thought was pretty reasonable. Um, it's called Royal Exchange Flowers, if any of you are local. And it's in, what is that called? Is that called the Corn ex Exchange? Or Royal Exchange. The Royal Exchange. So yeah. most successful trip to cars ever normally i try on like 20 things but it was only really that uh jacket that i tried on that i really liked um but i think we're going to head to another stories now we've got about 20 minutes until we need to meet Ed and the mum and dad um, so just enough time to have a look around see what we can find in that i really like the shape of this dress i think that neckline is really cute and quite like vintage looking a satin mini dress in this like charcoal grey colour. I don't know how much it would suit me. Oh, I like the back as well. It's got a cute little scoop back. But it is £85. Good option for like party wear season. It feels a little bit festive, especially if you like jazzed it up with some heels, sparkly heels in a bag. Um, but yeah, it's cute. Really like this double breasted coat. It's a very similar style to that one I showed you in cars, but much less oversized. Like the shoulders don't have any padding in them. And it also looks a little bit shorter. Doesn't feel as like thick and luxurious though, I would say. And this is 239. I love this all camel look they've got going on on the mannequin. Is that a blazer or is that a jumpsuit? If it's a blazer, I don't know how practical it would actually be to wear and actually tuck it into the pants. But it looks really nice. It's giving very like Rosie Huntington Whiteley vibes. Maybe these are the pieces. Okay, so yeah, it is a blazer. I'm not so keen on that with it just like being double breasted but only one button on either side. But the trousers are nice. I've actually got some similar for our end of the stories from last year. These are so nice. I feel like they would actually match really nicely with my bag and they do perfect match because I was thinking this morning like these don't go quite as well like these are quite warm and this is like a cooler like taupey colour but these you kind of want them they are £95 I also actually like these little Mary Janes in the cherry red colour like they're very Parisian vibes I don't know if I could pull them off but I feel like I've seen a lot of people in Mary Janes recently not sure about that heel though. I don't know why, they remind me of like tap shoes in a way. But the colour is gorgeous and I do like the strap across the front. Love these camel loafers. Again, my camera's making it look bright orange but they're a really nice tone. I actually have these in black and they're such good quality. Um, but I kind of need a tan pair of shoes for winter as well so they could be another good option. Can you tell I really like to match my bags with my shoes? This is the greyish version of my grey coat that you've probably seen loads of times. Really like this colour as well. Um, 
these are 225 pounds can definitely vouch for the quality on these as well not very successful in other stories either um, there were a few nice bits but nothing like really worth trying on but i am actually coming back to town tomorrow i've got like a well it's kind of an event kind of an appointment with a brand at selfridges so i will do some shopping tomorrow and i will pick back up the come shopping with me then and um, we're just heading to meet Amy's mom and dad now absolutely ravenous so very ready for a roast and hopefully some cauliflower cheese as well <laughs> This morning was a bit of a rush and the weather is dreadful um, but I went to a appointment at Selfridges this morning uh, with Tom Ford Beauty and then with Killian the fragrance brand and I had my makeup top top I've got a smoky eye which is a bit out there for a Monday but I really like it and then I went for an appointment with Killian which is a gorgeous fragrance brand they had so many different fragrances and they were incredible um, I've heard really good things but I've never actually tried any of their um, fragrances before so I think they are actually going to kindly send me um, maybe their new one which is a smoking car and then my favourite, which I've got now, is Angel Share. Apparently it's Beyonce's signature scent and it's beautiful. It's one of their most popular and it was actually the first one that I smelt. Um, but yeah, it was gorgeous. So I'm excited about that as well. Um, but like I said yesterday, I am going to continue the come shopping with me today. So I've just come into Zara. There wasn't loads, but I found a couple of like nice classic cream coats. So I thought we could try those on. Um, but this is my outfit of the day. I'm wearing that same mango blazer from yesterday, um, but this time with a like basic knit from H&M. Um, this black skirt is and other stories, I think. And then I'm wearing my Celine belt and these H&M knee-high boots. Okay, first coat. Absolutely obsessed with this. It's one of those, um, you know, Italian wool coats. It's got that Manteco label in the like collar, but it's so beautiful. The colour is perfect. It's kind of like a creamy beigey taupe colour, I would say. And the fabric is just stunning. Um, I did go for the small in this because it looked like quite a slim fit. And I think this is the right size to be fair because it definitely fits on my shoulders. It's a little bit more oversized in the body so I could maybe try the extra small as well. Um, but I love it so much. I really don't think I need another cream coat but I don't know this is so so nice. And it is £149 which honestly I don't think is too bad for a gorgeous like classic coat. This would be a really good one to like dress up for the evening, especially like around like Christmas time. Like this over the top of like a dressy date night look would just be the dream. And then the second one I brought in is more of a like casual, like unstructured style. It is a very, very similar fabric to, if you remember my H&M cream coat. It's like that brushed like wool fabric. Again, gorgeous quality. And I really liked the like, well, the fact it's got like no lip Pels here. I feel like it looks quite clean and also quite cool. It's got huge pockets. It doesn't have a belt and it is very oversized and long. Um, I'm trying on the extra small in this one and yeah it's definitely an oversized fit and it's pretty much like floor length on me and I am five foot two for reference. Um, I think this would definitely work so nicely on someone taller but it's definitely like swamping me <laughs> quite a lot. Um, so I prefer this one, but if you are looking for a slightly more like casual um, wool coat for winter and you are taller than maybe like five foot five, five foot six, then I think this is a really, really nice option. Um, so yeah, I will leave both linked. I'm just trying to decide whether I could potentially justify buying this because I think it's beautiful. Okay, so I'm now in Mango and I've got so much to carry and it's really heavy. So I'm not gonna be able to try too many things on. Um, I'll try and take a few bits in, but we shall see. 
but I just spotted this little tweed crop jacket which I thought was really cute definitely like a trend piece with the um, like flower detail although that is detachable so that's fab um, very kind of like Magda Butcher inspired with the flower um, but yeah if you can take it off I feel like that is a really nice classic jacket but I like the fact that it does have that detail because it just adds something a little bit extra um, how much is it? $89.99 that's super cute what are our thoughts on the silver trouser trend <laughs> I feel like I really like it on other people but I don't know about it on me because my legs are so short I feel like these would be like a wide leg as well really nice for party season especially I think I'd do them with like a white long sleeved tight bodysuit it would look nice especially with some kind of sparkly accessories too the classic mango wool camel coat they've had this in stores for like years now I have it and I got it a good few years ago um, this year's version is a little bit lighter like more of a true camel whereas my one's slightly darker I think and then it also has the side pockets whereas mine has like big pockets on the front but I actually think I prefer those kind of pockets because they give it a slightly dressier feel um, this is £140 really gorgeous quality camel wool coat obsessed with this tortoiseshell clutch uh, that would be so nice for like Christmas evenings out so like I'd definitely buy that if it was in like gold or silver but I do really like the tortoise shell too um, probably not practical like I don't know if you could get your phone in there probably not um, but I don't think that's really the point it's to look cute um, it's $49.99 I love this greyish double breasted coat as well um, this is very similar to the cos coat I showed you yesterday um, this one £140 as well really really like that okay so I spotted a mirror so I just thought I'd quickly try this one on absolutely love it um, it's a little bit of a shorter length so really good if you are petite um, it's quite a boxy fit so I would say true to size um, yeah I really really like it it's really nice quality it isn't lined or anything but you can tell it is like a wool fabric um, I definitely don't need another greyish coat, I've already got a couple and you might be able to spot I may have made a purchase already um, but if you are on the hunt for a classic coat for winter especially if you are petite then we'll definitely recommend this I love this little cream bag um, I think this will be a good like, day to night option it's $29.99 so obviously not real leather but it's nice quality the only thing I don't like is the silver hardware I prefer it if it was gold but it's pretty minimal so I don't think you could really tell anyway okay so I'm back home now and just about to have my lunch I forgot to actually show you last night because we were just so tired when we got back from the roast I feel like it's because the clocks went back but I was honestly ready for bed at like 6 p.m but we did end up making some soup for the week I've been trying to do this every week because I just love soup season so much um, although to be fair Aiden pretty much made all of this so I can't really take any credit um, but this week we have a pumpkin and carrot and miso soup um, I've just done some crispy kale and some toasted pumpkin seeds for the top I'm um, excited to dig into this very hearty and wholesome lunch hello so it's been a couple of days since I last spoke to you um, I'm just trying on outfits because I'm going out with my best friend tomorrow I'm really excited because I've not seen her in so long and we're doing like afternoon drinks and then dinner so I'm really really looking forward to that and I'm just trying to decide now what I'm going to wear um, and I realised I never showed you my coat purchase the other day. Um, I'm sure you can all guess what I got. But yeah, I'm planning to wear it tomorrow with this outfit. Um, so I thought I would show it you now. But this is the outfit I'm thinking I'm going to go for tomorrow. I'm wearing this sleeveless knit from Zara. This is a good few years old, but such a good basic. And I'm sure there will be lots of similar alternatives online at the minute. So I will try and leave some links below. Um, and then I'm going to go for, sorry Wally, just kicking him out the way. <laughs> I'm going to go for this maxi leather skirt, which I got recently from Because of Alice. Uh, maybe I should have done this in the mirror so you could see the full length. But I will pop a pic of what it looks like to the side. Um, I think it's going to be worn a bit like mid-rise. 
Um, normally, I'm very much a high-rise type girl, but it's a little bit too big, and I'm not mad about how it looks worn like this either. Um, so yeah, really happy with this, and I feel like I'm going to wear this so much throughout party season. And then I'm thinking I'm going to add a little bit of colour with these burgundy patent heels. Um, these are from Mango, and you might recognise them because they went like viral recently. Um, I did get mine quite a while ago, so before they went viral, and I am really glad that I did actually, because I think they're quite hard to get hold of now, and I absolutely love them, and they are like the perfect heel height for like a day to night type situation. Um, so yeah, I think I'm going to do those because I really like how the burgundy looks with black. And then here is the coat that I picked up the other day from Zara. I just couldn't leave it behind. I thought it was so beautiful. Like the quality of this is just so, so good. And I love the shape and how it kind of like nips in at the waist. Um, I do have a couple of like cream or like nude coats already. But I just felt like I needed this one. I feel like for like evening looks like this, it's just such a chic addition to the outfit and like really finishes it off. Um, I did end up going for the size small. I know I mentioned that I was going to go and try on the extra small and I did. But I really liked how the small was that little bit more oversized. So I can wear something a bit chunkier underneath it if I want to. Um, the extra small was like the perfect fit on the shoulders and definitely had more of a nipped in like waist effect but it definitely felt more like tailored and kind of like kind of work coat in a way um, whereas the size small I just feel it looks a little bit more like expensive and like cooler with it being that little bit more oversized. Um, so yeah, that is all I ended up picking up. Let me know what you think. Obviously, I will leave this linked along with everything else that I showed you in store. Um, sorry that I couldn't really like try things on as much this time, but on the Sunday, we were kind of in a bit of a rush. And then um, I had loads of stuff when I went in on Monday just to carry. And Aiden wasn't with me. So yeah, I was really struggling. Um, but yeah, I really hope you enjoyed the video anyway. I think I mentioned, but I've got a big haul coming. In fact, I think I'm actually going to split it into two. So those will be my next couple of videos. And I know we all have a haul. So yeah, definitely come back for those. Um, thank you so much for watching. And I will see you next time.